just need to like edit a mustache on my face right here. Are you a boy or a girl? <clears throat> now, are you a boy or a girl? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how at the very start of your game, you can let your players choose whether they want to be a boy or a girl. I'm also gonna give a couple tips and tricks as well just to help you along with that process. But let's start by jumping into game. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. First thing we wanna do is make the player start without any graphic. We're just gonna come up over here into the database manager and right here where the character is level up, we're just not gonna give them any graphics whatsoever. Then what we're gonna do is have a brand new map and call this starting area. What we're going to do here is make a few events. The first one is going to be set starting position, player. I always do my auto run events in the top left corner. We're gonna make this an auto run event and we're just gonna show text. Are you a boy or a girl? And then we're just gonna do a show choices. The choices will be boy or girl. And for cancel, we're just going to disallow that. What we wanna do is when the player selects boy, we're gonna come over to the third event page and go change actor images. We're going to change level ups images. We're just gonna give him the boy images. We're just gonna add another show text. Interesting, and what is your name? Then we're just gonna go over to the third page in the event commands. We're going to click name input processing, and then we're going to do this for level up. Level up, if you'll notice the ID next to it, is 0004. Remember that, it's important for later on. We'll give him a max character limit of eight. Now what we wanna do is when it's a girl, do the exact same thing. So copy and paste the change images, the interesting what's your name and the input name processing. And where it says change actor images, instead of a boy, we're just going to be putting girl stuff. Now, after all that's finished, what we're going to do is show text. And now this disembodied voice is going to recite the name that we just inputted. And to do that, we'll use a little specific set of code and I'll show you that right now. It's going to be backslash n open square brace four close square brace. And the reason I've put the number four there is because we're looking for the name of the fourth actor. Remember how I said remember the number four? That's because level up is the fourth actor. If this was a different character you were trying to reference, then you'd reference slash n3 slash n2. But we're trying to represent the fourth actor. So if we click preview, instead of saying backslash n square brace four square brace, it'll actually say the name. There you go. Interesting. Welcome to the world. And then we're just going to simply transfer the player over to any random map. And what I like to do for every auto run event is when I'm finishing it, I turn control self switch A on a new event page condition, self switch A on. Now, if we load this up into game, everything should be working swimmingly. Okay, so we're gonna hit new game and there we go. Are you a boy or a girl? I get to choose, so I'm gonna choose girl. Interesting, and what is your name? And then we get to name her. So we won't name her Level Up. We'll name her Levelette. We hit OK. Levelette, interesting. Welcome to the world. And here we are in the town. Now, I have one more tip before you go, but just before I mention this tip, if you've really liked this video, then scroll down and hit the like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and gets my videos out to more people. One of the problems that can come from having multi-gendered main characters is that how do you reference them in dialogue? And there's a range of ways you can do this. Like I showed you in this tutorial, you can use the backslash and... You can use the backslash N square bracket number square bracket and that will refer to the player by their name so instead of saying he did this or she did that you can say Johnny did this another way you can do it is instead of referencing to the main character as he or she you can reference to the main character as them this is Tom I saw them kill a dragon you know, um, I was at the bar were they really there 
Yeah, I saw them at the bar getting rid of those bandits. You don't have to use he or she, you can use them, and it still fits perfectly within the context of a sentence. I mean, really, do you want to rewrite the entire dialogue of your game just changing he and she with variables on what gender they are? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and don't forget to drink a glass of water. Thank you.